Good morning, everybody. I'm supposed to be a blessing. This is my reading for my water signs. So if you are a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces, this reading is definitely for you. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you feel like you want to leave me a comment, please do so in the comment section down below. With that being said, water signs, this is your reading. You have the moon card. When the moon card comes into a reading, it talks about... It, it just lays everything out on the table. So if you feel like somebody been cheating or lying or something like that, the moon going to highlight all of that. Any lies, deception, and deceit, anything that's hidden, the moon highlights it, okay? It also, at times, it, it tells you that you're going to be very intuitive at this time, too. You have the Ace of Pentacles, so just talk about, you know, planting some seeds, you're beginning some new things, the new ideas are going to come to fruition. So, this is telling you that finance is going to increase for you here. You have the Ace of Cups, this is new, exciting love coming into your life. You have a king of swords. So somebody got something on their mind, but they're coming in um, to tell you about it. Very beautiful card. A king of swords is coming your way. You have a two of swords here. So this is telling me that you're stuck. You need to make a decision at a crossroad. Don't know exactly what to do, but you're going to have to make some kind of decision because you can't stay like that. The six of pentacles talks about giving and taking. The universe works um, that kind of system. You have to give in order to receive. So it talks about giving to receive. So maybe you have to give your love in order to receive it. Things of that sort. But whatever it is, it, it works on that system. So giving and taking within a partnership, because this is the two of cups, is what's on your mind. You also have the three of pentacles. You've been working extremely hard on something. With the ace of swords, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about how it's going to be bring so much beauty into your life, whatever you're working on. But yeah, you some of y'all, for some reason, you're, you're juggling. You're trying to weigh your options in in you weighing your options in regard to a person or two people should i say two people jobs or something of that nature because this is a pinnacle so you're weighing your options you have a tower so when a tower comes into your reading it talks about it comes in to shake some things up in your life but it comes to get your mind right too. But sometimes you want you need to leave a place and you're not leaving. It's gonna come and shove you the way you need to be. You have the hyphen here, and the hyphen talks about following your higher self, and that means to keep yourself on a higher plane. Um, the hangman is here saying, look at things from a different perspective, because not it's not always about you. With the princes of one, you have a young fire sign coming in to tell you that they love you. You have a nine of, a nine of ones is here. Somebody could be definitely bound in their mind in regard to something here. But with the empress here, she's saying it's time for you to birth out something new and exciting in your life. And somebody could be pregnant as well. And not even know it, but you're definitely pregnant here. You have the sacred clown, which is the fool card. The fool card talks about jumping out. Doing something new, taking a risk. Because you got a new year coming in. It's time for you to take a whole lot of risks. With that being said, some of you are going to take a risk in regard to a lover's relationship because they came out right behind it. Some of you are loving somebody and you're trying to decide, you know, shit, should I be with this person or not? I think you're going to take that risk. Go ahead and take that risk. You never know where it might lead you. You have an eight of swords. You're somebody's definitely bounding in their mind. You see there? Bounding up. But this person's. This card right here is when somebody bound their mind in regard to something that they're dealing with. But they're in this position because they want to be. Because you can come out of that if you want to. Okay? You have the Ace of Wands. This is a very creative time for you. Water signs. That's right. And you have the Alien card. So you've been alienating yourself. Um, thinking about people, places, and things. You're going to come up with the answers that you need. And with the Justice card, you've been dealing with the Libra, but you're definitely going to be balancing some things out in your life. The Justice talks about balancing things out. You could be dealing with court cases as well. If you're dealing with a court case, be very positive about it. And with that being said, your last card that came out, Things, something's going to happen really, really fast in regard to something. And there's going to be some communication to open up. All right, y'all. Please like, subscribe, comment to my channel. I thank you so very much. Have a very, very blessed day.